Hey, if you are watching this, you're probably watching the replay right now. So say hello and tell me what you're doing for Labor Day. And if you're watching the replay and it's way past Labor Day, it's still a good day. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me where you're from. Are you new? Uh, are you a new follower? I'd love to hear. Setting up my iPad. I'm trying to find Facebook on here. Where is it? There it is. Oh, there I am. Hey, everybody. Welcome. So happy to be here today. To be here every day, right? <laughs> to be on this earth. Um, okay, so I've got some fun stuff to show you today with chalk art. Uh, chalk art is so fun, especially using the liquid. Um, because there's so many fun bright colors you can do. It's just got a, a really fun look to it. And it comes off. You wipe it off. So, I love sharing it with people. Because it's so fun. Okay, let me see. I want to see comments and I'm not seeing them yet. Let's see what I see. This is what I see. But, oh, there we are. I got comments now. Yay! Yay! Hi, Channing and Sheila and Rhonda and Jan. How are y'all doing? Um... Oh, I'm glad you're resting, Rhonda. That's good. That's good. Okay, so here we go. All right. So I've already been playing with this chalkboard. This is a new little chalkboard I got for the Pinterest conference. I'm toying around with the idea of giving these free with a certain amount purchase, but I thought they were pretty cute, especially because I'm going to be selling chalk markers, and that would be kind of fun. And I'm going to have a table where I set up some things and you get to sample. So if you come into Pinners, come on and try them yourself. But this I wrote the other day and I was thinking, um, I wondered how easy it would come off. Cause some of y'all have probably worked with chalk markers before and you're like, oh, I'm frustrated because it just leaves a residue once you wipe it off. And I will say some do that. I was very pleasantly surprised. This is just water. When I wipe this off and the bottom part came clean. So um, let me show you how great it is. You can just start fresh. Like I said, I'm just using water. When you do use chalkboards that don't want to clean up, try a magic eraser. Try one of these things. I've ripped this apart because I, I just use small ones at a time. But I mean like, and see right now you can see a little bit of the residue, but it got completely went away earlier. So I don't know if when you get it wet, it kind of shows back up again, but I'm not as bothered by it as maybe some people, because when I think of a chalkboard, you know how they all have, like real chalkboards even have like, you know, some residue left from chalk. So, hey, Treva. Okay, so here we go. Now it's plain, it's blank, and I can barely see a little bit, not enough to bother me. But if I wanted to, I could use a magic eraser and work, work the magic on here. And it usually just takes it right off. Now, some surfaces, some, some are like painted on, like either chalk paint or if it's just black paint painted on, on a tin. If you work it too hard, hey, Melanie, it will take the paint off. But this one is not. Now, this is PVC. I'm not sure what, what this is, but um, that's why, you know, you can buy a bunch of them for a good price because they're affordable. But what's fun is this works on them, you know? So here is what I use, Crafty Croc um, liquid chalk markers. I love how bri vibrant the um, colors are. This is an eight pack. I would get the 10 pack because it comes with the black. Um, and I'm while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna put the link in here because when people ask, I never can think to put it in, so. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, I've been thinking about some different things that I want to write on here and I see a glare. Is that going to be better or worse? Better or worse? Oh, that's better. Sort of. I turned it back on and I moved it away. Um, that's, sorry, it's delayed on the screen. So I'm just trying to figure it out. All right. Now, these bright colors, it's hard to know which ones to try. Now, what I do love about these also, as I always tell people, is look, you've got your Valentine's Day colors, and then you've got your Halloween fall colors. You know, I think Halloween sometimes with purple. Um, 
And then you've got your spring flowers and leaves colors. So it's great because they, they work for all occasions. And then, oh, Christmas, forgot Christmas. How could I forget Christmas? The best of all, right? There's those. So anyway, um, and then what's really cool that I didn't know when I first got this kit, this box, was it comes with this set of, sorry, um, these are these are labels. And so it says surprises. Oops, I'm ruining the surprise if you decide to get some. But these are um, like chalkboard labels. You can write on there, you can wipe them off. But you can put them on certain things like a button jar or um, a dog bone container or whatever it is. It's kind of nice to have those. All right, let's get to the, let's get to the fun part. White always looks really good on chalkboards. So I'm gonna start with white. Now it's just like a paint pen. If you've ever used a paint pen before, um, you have to prime it, pump it and prime it. These I've already done because I've been using them. Now what I will show you is that it has two tips. This is a chisel tip and this end is a, a bullet point. Okay, so it depends on what you like. The chisel tip you can get mm, maybe more pointy. I, I prefer I'm gonna turn it over because I prefer the bullet uh, bullet tip. And usually you make that decision like before you prime it and pump it, but um, you can change it like I did. <laughs> I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Isn't that what it's all about? All right, so got this. Now to get it primed and pumped, you want a piece of scrap paper. Make sure it's coming out. Treat yours nicer than I do. <laughs> With white, it's hard to tell if it's coming out. I think it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put on here. Um, because this is gonna be where they can try the markers, I'm just gonna put test. Hmm, let me change the color. Hey y'all, say hi if you popped on. Test chalk. Markers. Oh, I'm running out of room. Does it need to say markers? Probably does. I can always redo it because it's easy to wipe off. A lot of times you want to practice first. You can even use a piece of chalk to practice first. Test chalk marker and ooh, that one was juicy. Water Color. Why do I have to say it out loud? I don't know why. <laughs> and that's a little over, but I can put something right here, a little arrow or something, right? Hey, Kelly. Hey. Julia, were you here a minute ago? I don't know if you heard me saying, and yes, that's a great question because it happens all the time. You get a chalkboard, you write little cute stuff on it, and you can't get it off. Um, the biggest trick I can say to you is use a magic eraser. Um, try that and that might solve your problems. But you can also, I don't, are you using real chalk or are you using liquid chalk? Okay, test watercolor, and I'm gonna put brush pens. So we're gonna have those at our booth as well. But don't you like the pretty colors? I've seen a lot of teachers make uh, signs for their classroom lately. Let me give y'all a sample of all the different colors. Brush pens. Really needs an S on there, doesn't it? Liquid. Okay, so I don't know if it's the chalkboard or the markers, but it's probably the chalkboard. And what I would do is just use water first and clean it. 
and then put water on. Have you tried a magic eraser? Magic eraser, is that what it's called? Magic eraser. Put a little bit of water on there and, and rub it off. It's been very good for me. It's worked a lot for me. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and make this test thicker so it shows up better. This may not be the best. Aw, Debbie, that's so nice. Thank you. And I would let you, I would sit here all day and do this because I've done it for three over three hours one time and I didn't even know. I think I've used this one like crazy. Um, but yeah, I've been on here all day. I have set a timer to remind myself to get off because y'all have a life. <laughs> Can't keep you on here all day. Uh, anyway, the white's my favorite, of course. Okay, I have a question for y'all. When I sell some of these products at the Pinners Conference, I'm having to figure out right now how much product to buy and I have no idea. There's 14,000 people that usually come through here, but not everybody's gonna be interested in hand lettering. So, the options for me to purchase are a set of 10 of these real pretty colored markers. I can purchase a box of just four white where it's just four white ones in the box. My question is, would you buy four white ones if there was an option to buy just that? Would y'all do that? No, I haven't. I was worried to ruin the board. Okay, so I would love to see what board that is. Hey, let me know. Send me a picture or something. I don't know if that would help, but definitely try Magic Eraser. I'm telling you, it has been a life saver for me because I, I was so excited to use them and then it's all boards are different like this board I'm going to clean this off in a minute this one's completely different than this one so it just depends on the board and I have some that are painted and so it just just gotta play with it okay I haven't tried the red I'm gonna show you all the red too don't you love how bright it is I'd want a white with the colors yeah, yeah, thank you, Ashley. Yes, uh, yes, I think this set of 10 comes with the white and black. You would want colors. Uh, thank y'all. That really helps me because when I purchase, one of their best sellers is like the set of four white, but I didn't know if that was just like an online thing or what. So that's good to know. Did I do all the colors? Yellow. I can't miss the yellow. Test chalk marker and watercolor brush pens. I wish I had room to say here. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's see. I'll just do a little. Hey. I'm live if you didn't know. Okay, so anyway, aren't those fun? Fun colors. So I'm going to show you some other boards. This is one that I'm, I'm wiping off, so kind of ignore it. It's, it looks ugly because I've traveled with it. It was my parents' 50th anniversary, obviously, and I wanted to wipe it down to show you because I have no idea if it's going to clean off well. We're just going to do this together. you got to have the colors. I know, Marnet. I know. we got to have our colors. So, again, this is just water. Yes, white, black, and those gorgeous colors. I know. They are so pretty. So, I'm taking a paper towel, which I keep handy all the time in my art room. And I keep my water bottle handy in my art room because who has time to get up, right? But we'll see what this does. This is from Walmart. I think it's a cute little chalkboard from Walmart. And when I say chalk, I say that loosely because I don't know what it's made out of. It's probably not a chalkboard. I mean, it's not because I can feel it. And the back looks like that. And it's not, you would think it'd be dry erase, but it's not. I don't know really what it is, but I wish it was chalkboard on the back too. I feel like it's coming off really good. So far, so good. But you saw how much marker was on there. Now, I still see some residue. Can y'all see where you can barely see the letters? But it's not enough to bother me. And sometimes when it dries, you can't see it at all. Okay, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna write on this one. Yeah, the colors, I agree, I agree. If you just popped on, here's the colors. They're so pretty. There's a different color that comes in this set. This this set is set of eight. I don't even know if that's available online, but um, it didn't come with the white. I recommend getting the 10 that comes with the white and the black. Alrighty, so this one I'm going to say, see what I can fit on her. DIY banner kits. 
Okay, so I'm selling banner kits. Let me show y'all. This is kind of, ugh. You know my banners I've made? Some of y'all have seen my banners. Well, the kit's in the other room, but I'm putting together kits where people can buy them there and take them home and do them. Okay, there's my magic eraser. I didn't really need it, but it had a little, it helps. Julia, let me know. I wanna know. I want to know if that fixes all your problems. DIY banner kits. Do y'all have any questions? Have y'all used chalk markers before? It The best part, y'all, is they wipe off. It's the best. What um, other problems have y'all had with, with lettering or with chalk? Or I want to teach a chalk, chalk class, this kind of chalk class, because I have some really cool tips on how to write on chalkboards. I wonder if people would be interested in that. DIY banner kits. Let me get the kit. I got to show you. Okay, so Julia said she would take a class. Good. Good. That'd be great. Okay. So here is um, my banner kit, and I just, I'm just working on these, getting them together. If you haven't seen, this is what they look like. This tells you like the supply list, what comes in it. But on the back, I have, you know, what it includes. And then down here, it has a trim, it has an erasable pen, it's got these two little clips, and then it has the banner itself in there with the instructions. So that's what the sign is for. Is for. I'm excited about those. Okay. If you watched me this week, I talked about lettering and how to make your letters um, where the X height is. Like I'm going lower on this. So instead of crossing my A up at the top or in the middle, I'm doing it low. So anything that crosses will be low, like this E is gonna start down here. And this R is going to go down here. Thank you, Melanie. I'm excited about my banner kits. And uh, what I didn't say is I have templates inside too. So uh, you, you can do either one of these if you buy a banner kit. It's got the, where well, you can trace them. So fun. Okay, it's so hard to pick colors, y'all. Life is hard. <laughs> I think the pink shows up really good. I think I'll do that. I feel like I'm in junior high again. Like, it's so, it's that much fun. <laughs> Which one, Channing? DIY banner kits. Now I have to decide on a price, and I haven't decided yet because I've got to add up how much it costs me, but I'll put the price right here. And that's really a simple one. You know, I could add a little, it's very hard for me not to add a border to stuff because when I taught school, I've said this before, but when I taught school, my kids had to put a border around everything because I went to a training and it was an art training and that's what they talked to us about. They were like, any project, you need to finish it off with a border. And so that's what I do. It really does make a difference. It like grounds everything. Hey, Kim, happy Labor Day to you, too. Thanks for watching. And thank y'all for sharing. It blesses my socks off when you share. Okay, so there's that. I uh, want to make some more signs. So let me put this to the side to kind of dry. I have a bunch of chalkboards, like a bunch of different sizes and stuff. So it's kind of fun to um, pull them out and use them. It's hard to demonstrate some of them because they're a lot bigger. Okay, this is that little one again that comes with this stand. And you just pop it in there and it sits up. Pretty cool. Okay, especially if you had like, I mean, if you had a buffet, like if it was a wedding and you had a buffet and 
you wanted to write down what the foods are. Or, I mean, even if you had just like Labor Day and you had family come over, look how fast I could write peach tea on here, non-sweet, whatever, unsweet, <laughs> whatever you call it. Okay, so let's do this one, join our tribe. So a lot of you know that I have a lettering membership tribe and um, I'm gonna try to draw a light bulb first. And it's called Be The Light and we um, not only learn lettering, but we do, we focus on like scriptures and we do fun craft things. We pray for each other and we've done some Bible studies together. Lots of fun stuff. So I'm gonna do Be The Light. I haven't tried to use it this way. I'm sure it will work though. Yeah, let's try with this one this way. But drawing a light bulb in front of y'all will probably not work. You know, when you're like trying to perform. <laughs> that's that's not that's not the worst bulb I've ever drew, drawn. It's not the best either, but it's not the worst. Hey, how are you? These are not permanent. These are chalk markers and they just wipe off with water. And um, now if y'all do want to make something more permanent, because some people are like, but I really, I've got to transport this and you know, I need to make sure it stays on. You can uh, use paint markers, but to get them off is super hard. So not sure if that's what you would want to do, but just, just so you know, especially if it's something permanent. But no, these wipe right off. So at Pinners, I wanna um, advertise our lettering tribe. And so I just thought I'd make a few signs that talked about it. I don't know what I think about this, but you know. Ooh, that, that light bulb's looking worse. It's looking worse and worse every time I look at it. It may be wiped off in just a second. Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> You're welcome. You're very welcome. But if you don't know, my tribe is open right now for 48 hours. And uh, if you wanna know more about it, just send me a message and I will give you the link to my website. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, not loving it, but you know what? I'm gonna move on and take a look back. Cause sometimes you look back later and you're like, well, that's not that bad. <laughs> but right now it's not that good either. Okay, now I noticed that some of these are uh, a little dusty, so no. Is there anything that y'all want me to write? If you just popped on, if you go back to the beginning of the video, I show you how I erased one of these and it came right off really, really simple. So if you hang on, hang on, I may do another one. Okay, lots to do one that says, oh, book marker bundle. Book and pen bundle. What color? Looking for their red. There it is. No, oh, that's green. How did I lose red? Are y'all looking right at it? Oh, I put it back in the box. Huh? <laughs> the one time I put something away. Okay. You want to keep your little your little sample sheet to the side because if you're like me, you'll be getting your hands all in it. Okay. Do you know how to do foligraphy? I will teach you um, if you've never done it before. It's basically every downstroke, you just make it thicker. So like this B, when you write a B, this is a downstroke. So you make that thicker. When you go around with a B, you're going down right here, make that thicker. The O, you're going down right here, make that thicker. So if you didn't know that, hopefully that's a good tip for you. And then the K, K, one thing that's not fun about K's is that they're all downstrokes. So they don't have that variety of thin versus thick. 
Okay, book and they're called water blah, blah, blah. they're called watercolor brush pens. But I don't want people to get confused if I put marker because they're not markers. They're let me find them. Okay, this is what the bundle with my book is gonna be. So, do I wanna call it WB pens? Yeah, I could do that. Like WP watercolor brush pens book and what colors you have to be careful because you start you know you start looking patriotic if you have certain colors oh that didn't say that for the july y'all earlier when i was telling you all the other stuff it's not everything okay book and i like this blue this blue looks it shows up really good water color brush Oh, shoot. Pens. Y'all might tell me that didn't make any sense. I need to know because if y'all don't think it makes sense, then watercolor brush pens. <laughs> then I know other people won't. Bundle. So it's going to have my book and the brush pens for a special price. So, I'm gonna leave room at the bottom to put a price on there. Do my border. And you see, it's kind of, I mean, I wouldn't mind kids playing with these because it wipes off, you know? And these little boards are perfect to let them write on something and then stick it up for the day. And then you can wipe it off and then you don't have a bunch of um, paper trash to throw away and you don't know what to do with because their artwork is cute, but you feel bad throwing it away. Say, so draw me something new. <laughs> I don't think I would know what that means. Hi, Marty. Marty, I've got to get that switcher. That switcher is so cool. You did a great job, by the way. Okay, any more questions? Y'all, y'all having a good Labor Day? Okay, here's some other chalkboard. This is one of my favorites. Right here. Oh, right, let me put and before I forget. Hello. I think I should put, oh, I know what I should put, 26 pens, 26, because I can't fit this whole watercolor brush pen, so I could put 26 book and 26 pen bundle. Would that make sense? I'll work on that. Okay, I'm going to look at my Be The Light again. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. That bulb. That bulb. See, I need to practice the bulb and, and do it on, um, do it on with chalk. Okay, so this is, again, one of my favorites. I've had it for a long time. I got it at Target. It, I just noticed it's kind of starting to fall apart, but hey, who cares? Distressed is in, right? So here's this side. I'm pretty sure that is chalkboard. And then this side is um, burlap, and I just got chalk paint on it. <laughs> I'm not careful. You know how I told y'all to move this little paper away? Well, I didn't. Look, it's coming off. It's a miracle. Now we can say that chalk, uh, uh, chalk ink comes off of wood, maybe? Can't promise, but it did on that. Okay, so here's this. Love this so much. Um, I use this for my parents' anniversary. I've used it for birthday parties. I had an um, engagement party here. I used it for that. All kinds of fun stuff. And that's what's neat about doing your own lettering because, you know, you can buy signs already done, but then what do you do with them if you're if they're for an occasion? So this has worked for all occasions. I had to have a crafty Christmas on it last year when I had a craft sale. So all kinds of things. Let's see. Um, I'm going to put ask me about my classes because I have online classes. This is for, if you just join me. Um, this is the Pinners conference I'm making signs for um, and I'm 
people, you know, who don't know about me. That way they walk in the booth and they're like, oh, she teaches classes. Because um, you can't talk to every person, which I wish I could because I love people. Okay, so... Alexa, stop. She's telling me it's been 30 minutes already. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Which color is y'all's favorite? Here they are. Which color is y'all favorite? Even a, just a sweet message to a loved one. Thinking about you today. Could be at their office and you come visit them and just write something on there. The blue is mine too, I think. Robin, ask me about teaching, classes, retreats. Ask me about. I don't know what to say. Ask me about my. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for sharing. Y'all are super, super sweet. And so what I'm trying to do right now is just fit it in like around that. And, and I don't have lines, so this may be way crooked. And once I stand it up and look at it, I may be like, oh, that's way crooked. But I think that's pretty good. That's not bad my classes. This, the only thing about this one, it has this, this one, this, this thing down here that's kind of hard to work around. Uh, online. Can y'all see? I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can move my tripod a little bit. It's hard to know what to write because I would say local, but I'll be in Dallas and I travel. So in-person classes is the only way I know how to say it. Unless y'all have an idea. Ooh, barely made it. So it's always fun to go back and do some, what did I forget? Classes. Where did I forget an S? Uh-oh. Ask me about my classes online and in-person. Marna, where did I forget an S? On the bundles? No. Book and watercolor press from bundles. I'll wait till you tell me. I mean, I'll keep going to it until you tell me. Okay, so it's kind of fun to put these little accent marks in places. I'm going to do this. It's kind of highlight classes. I don't want to get my hand wet, or I don't want to smear it. I don't worry about my hand as much as smearing it, so I have to redo it. Oh, I forgot. See, are you talking about this S? <laughs> no worries, Martin. I like it when y'all tell me, because I, I spell all the time, because you're writing and you just don't think, you just don't, you just don't think about it. Okay, I think I'm going to make my downstrokes on the classes thicker. You can tell I'm taking my time on this board a little bit more than the others. And I don't know why, except that it's a prettier board. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, it's framed and it looks so pretty.
Do you like that thicker look? Okay, so we've got some more. Purple is Jeannie's favorite. Robin likes blue. Casey likes pink. Oh, I know. I tricked y'all with my little baby S, didn't I? I tricked y'all. It tricks the eye. You're like, hey, maybe it'll bring people in the booth, right? She misspelled some. I better go tell her. Because it probably will happen. Not them telling me, but me misspelling something. So is anybody going to be there? Because you've got to come say hi, and we have to do a selfie. I mean, we need to do a selfie. We don't have to. I won't make you. Okay. Something. See again with the border thing? Y'all, it needs a border. I might do purple this time. Oh. Sometimes if it's real juicy, just make sure you tap it off on paper. Whoa. Got a little wide there. It's okay. Um, it's in Dallas. It starts on the 13th, I believe. I think I go on the 12th to set up, and then it starts on the 13th. Unless you're VIP. I think the VIP people get in on the 12th in the evening. I'm not a VIP, so I don't know. They're sold out. I do know that because I looked. But it's at the, um, let me think, the Kaylee, K. Bailey Hutchinson Center. Yeah. It will be there, and there's going to be lots and lots of stuff. But if you haven't been, it's called the Pinners Conference. It's like kind of like a Pinterest feel. They have classes, and they have um, booths. So you can, like, you, I'm going to have a demo table where you can demo. Does that make sense? If a demo table where they can. What do you call that? <laughs> I know if I'm showing them that's demonstrations, but if, um, look, I'm just going to wipe this off without getting it wet. That's why it's so easy to, to mess up if you rub it against something. So you might want to make it when you get to the location, if you're making it for something else. Um, let's see if I can get, I don't think that's dry yet. You want to make sure it's dry before you try to wipe it off though. Uh, da, 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 scratch that. Oh, <laughs> oh, hands on table. Thank you for the heart, April. Huh? I don't, I've never heard that. Okay, so I've got that one made for pinners. And here's another one. This is a really pretty chalkboard, but I'll have to show you what happened. I got this at walmart.com, and I can't get any more. I was sad because I really like these because they were inexpensive. But look, down here. <laughs> ah! But I stick it on an easel, and you, you don't even notice it, so I still use it. But this one, again, you know, most of them are not real chalkboards. This feels just like this one. It must be the same thing. I don't really know what it is, but... Okay, so this one I've got to decide what to put on it, and I need, let's see, to join our tribe. Join our tribe. Be the light lettering tribe. Join us. Hmm. And again, you should sketch this out before you just start doing it like I am. <laughs> This one cleans up really good too, because I've written stuff on this one before. I had a women's, we had a women's event at our church and it said something about the event. So it's, again, you can use it for so many things.
Okay. I'm making such a mess. <laughs> Sometimes I go back and fill in the little words. Marna is in my, um, she's the one that talked about the S earlier. She's in my lettering trap, so she knows how often I make mistakes. <laughs> so I gotta have people watching my back. Did y'all like to color when you were little? Oh, I know. <laughs> I could get this piece off. <laughs> but it's pretty up there. <laughs> but this is so, it's so pitiful down here. But yeah, I thought about it. I was like, how could I make that work? But it would, I would make it look terrible up there. Okay, join. It's looking crooked. Join our lettering tribe. I also have windows I want to do. Join our... So you can use these on windows. And they look so cool. I think I have to use blue on this bottom part. Thank y'all for sharing. Okay. Today... Um, I opened up our lettering job and we have seven new members so far. I, B, join our lettering job. Is this spelled right? I gotta hold it up and see if it looks crooked, too crooked. I tried to fix the crookedness. Um, we always need a heart, right? We need a heart because I can't draw because I can't draw a light bulb. <laughs> I think I better not. I think we better do a heart. So you can color it in too. Thank you, Marnet. <laughs> I need my encourager friends. Okay, another thing we could do on this one, because it's bigger and spread out, I could do some like shadowing. So we'll see what it looks like. Again, I love that I can just clean this off. I don't like it. They also make these in thinner, smaller, versions but of course I don't know where mine are right now okay so be careful not to rub it because it'll rub off but I'm gonna do some shadowing and see how it looks These are the kind of classes we do in the tribe. Learning a little bit more advanced stuff. Oh, there she is again. Alexa, stop. I'm going to finish this before I get off. How about that? So now you've seen several samples of different ways you can use these on boards. Do you like the white? 
Does it add to it or make it more distracting? Tell me. Because y'all's opinion matters. To me. Yes, thumbs up. That means y'all like it. Oh, good. It adds to it. You know, just a little bit of something, you know, can make a big difference. Thanks you for the thumbs up. Okay, good. That does make a big difference. It looks so much better. I feel like if I try to do all of it like that, it would be too busy. What do y'all think? I think that'd be too busy. But I could do a little border. Let's try a little border. <laughs> What's my motto? You can always wipe it off. Okay, so we talked about our favorite colors. I have to say... Mine really is white. You know, I said blue, but I just like the white on here. It pops so much. But it's not really a color, I guess. Do you like the dots? Thanks, Robin. Gotta figure out where I'm gonna put some more dots. Well, the shadowing just takes a lot. I didn't either. It takes a long time, but I think your shadowing looks really good, Marnet, so don't be hard on yourself. I just didn't get it for a long time. And then all of a sudden it clicked. I'm like, oh. The light source is coming from there, so that's the shadow. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Thank you, Cher. Appreciate that. I'm glad you're watching. Thank you for supporting me, friend. Okay, now, a lot of times it's good to go upside down, which is, you can do shapes, uh, lines upside down. Words? Mm. That's kind of hard, but. So when I get to something so I don't like run into it or have to go up around it, I just skip it. Just kind of make a space there. All right, we're almost done. If y'all have any questions, this is your chance. Oh, thank you, Treva. Yay. It's It ties in that white, doesn't it? Yeah. And one more thing. I have a really hard time not putting a little accent mark on that. Oh, yay. Because I need, this needs to have a little, you know, whatever that's called. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Yay. Y'all made my day. Now if I can just get to pinners with it like this. <laughs> All right, guys, any questions? Aw, thank you for the hearts, and thanks for sharing, guys. All right, well, if you are interested in our lettering tribe, it is open for 48 hours, and uh, so it's $29 a month. You can cancel any time. You get a welcome kit your first month. Um, we do, like, we're finishing up a Bible study right now. We're doing sermon notes, which is really fun. It's learning how to take notes um, while you're either listening to a sermon or doing your Bible study. We um, like to sh thank you for loving it, Dennis and Ursula. <gasps> Tell me how to say your name. I have a feeling it's, that's, I'm not saying your name right. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, so uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, and I'm excited um, that every month we give away 10% to a charity. So everybody puts their names in, I mean, whatever they want to give to, and then we draw one, and then we give happy mail away to two people. Thank you, Penny. Um, and are you the Penny that just joined, by the way? Thank you, Joy. Because we just had a Penny join. Aw, thank you, Treva. You won't regret joining Tribe. That makes me... That that just makes my heart so happy. Uh, the group, I can't tell you how amazing the group is. Like, I, I am so blessed. 
y'all are the ones that make makes it great. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, it is a great group, isn't it? I have lots of tribe members on here right now. So y'all can ask them questions if you want to. I'm trying to think of what else to tell y'all about the tribe. Uh, there's something I missed the other night, but if you didn't see my live, I think it was last night, um, that tells a lot about it, but my website tells a lot about it too. Oh, what I'm most excited about right now is, oh, the give back part. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Penny, that is you. Yay. I was so excited when I saw your name and I guess it's the name of your business because I was like, wait, is that? But anyway, that's you. Welcome to the tribe. The un uh, monthly does not include the supplies. No, you, you purchase your own supplies. But the, the welcome kit, I do give you some of my favorite markers to try. Just a sampling of different markers. Um, to learn, like, in the beginning. Hey, Anne. Anne with an E. Anne with an E. I love Anne with an E. It's really pretty to write. Um... Anyway, so if y'all will um, let me know if you have any questions about anything, and I'm happy to answer it. Yeah. I don't know. Penny, are you in the Facebook group yet? We need to make sure to get you in there. And anybody else who joined, if you're too shy to say it on here, um, several of you have already asked to join the Facebook group. I will not be sending an email out um, until, let's see, tomorrow. Until um, today's Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday, I'll give you, I'll send an email and give you all the details. But um, right now, for the 48 hours, we're just working on signups. But um, if you think of the $29 a month as, like, if you ca if you went to an art class once a month, though, I mean, they they cost that much. The ones I go to, you know, they're at least $29. And so, just think you're getting um, a free lesson plus. You're getting um, a guest expert to come in, a guest artist, and they teach how to do different kind of artwork. And then um, I have free printable downloads that I actually sell in my... Um... Okay, Penny, we've got to get you in there. Um, I sell in my in my Etsy shop. I sell them, but the, the members get them for free. And then... Um, what else? Y'all remind me. Um... Yeah, that's a good question. Like, people who join the tribe, they are all levels. Some people have never lettered. One, it, when you when I say lettered, it's drawing shapes. Let me show you an example. Um, but the first thing that you'll do is you'll get a class that teaches you the basic lettering strokes. So just as an example, it will say downstroke. And you can do this with a, you can do it with a Crayola marker. You don't have to have anything to start off with. Nothing special. Where's my Crayola marker? You can have a Sharpie even. We'll just do a Sharpie. Okay. So, an upstroke is a real thin stroke, and you'll start with that, and a downstroke is a real thick stroke. So, if you can see the difference in that. It's harder to see with a Sharpie, but it still works. So, an upstroke is a thin upstroke, and a downstroke is a heavy downstroke. So, if you're using... Sharpies are my favorite because they... Not Sharpie. A Crayola marker... It's my favorite for learning with for lots of reasons. Here we go. But yeah, it's for beginners. It's for anybody. Because I, if you're not a beginner, you'll be stretched. You'll be challenged. There's challenges for you. If, you. if you are a beginner, you've got all the basics you need and room for growth. So a Crayola marker, you can use the side of it to press down and make a thick line. When you go up, every time you go up, it's thin. Every time you go down, it's thick. So when I write my name, I'm going down, it's thick. I'm going up, it's thin down thick up thin down and I've gotten where I make my letters really kind of they're Christified <laughs> so Penny since you're joining you are going to learn lettering and it's going to become Penny Ligraphy okay we're going to do Penny Ligraphy that's what you're going to do I do Christy Ligraphy. Marnet does Marnet Ligraphy. Because you're going to develop your own style. I'm going to teach you the basic strokes, but you're going to, yours doesn't, doesn't necessarily need to look like mine. Now, you can practice my strokes, and, you know, you can learn from, I have a hand lettering book, if y'all don't know that. Where's my book? Um, so, anyway, so in here... It has uh, different, like these are, this is the way I make my letters. So you practice, you practice, you practice, and then you develop your own style. So when I first started doing these letters, 
Like some of them I've changed now. I don't even do them exactly the same way. Like my R is pretty simple here. Well, now I do a curly R. Like I add, you just develop it. It just changes over time. So it's really fun. You are welcome. You are very welcome. Okay, Sandy says she's not artistic at all. And Christy does a great job to be inclusive of all levels. Oh, I hope so. Oh, Joy, yay. Joy, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Let me show you some fun J's. This is a fun J right here. But yeah, it's for anybody. And I don't want you to be intimidated, anybody to be intimidated. Because when you come in, there is all levels. And some people post their work and some don't. Some people, you know, comment and some don't. The more you interact, though, uh, I think the more blessed you'll feel about everything. You'll enjoy. Okay, I'm going to do some names on here. I know I was going to go, but I'm going to do some names because it's so fun. I see Elisa. So I'm going to do Elisa. Now see how this Crayola marker does? How I can make this really pretty and I'm using, I mean, how much is one Crayola marker? Not even a dollar. We have Sandy in the tribe. And like I said, my all of my letters have just developed over time into something different. Cause I guess because you get bored, it's like with anything else. And once you get confident with something, you're like, oh, I'm going to try this. You're a talker, not a poster. <laughs> we'll take anything. We'll take anything. Okay, so we've got Lisa, Joy, Marna. Marnette has some beautiful lettering. She's got, okay, one thing about her is she really inspires us with her work. Like she's working on some ornaments right now. And I love that you post because it really inspires other people. It's like, oh, that's a good idea. I could do ornaments and letter on them or whatever. Okay, who else? I did Penny. Treva. Treva's in the tribe and I'm just pressing down to make it harder I think the hardest part <laughs> and you can see if y'all can see my marker it's pretty it's pretty leaning to one side but then I'll just flip it around and start writing with the other side the hardest part is getting that upstroke really thin mm -hmm. there's share I'll do share But anyway, just to start off with, get you a set of Crayola markers. Sometimes I can find a whole set at Office Max for 99 cents, but I have to, it's online. You have to buy, I don't, I don't have it shipped to me. I just buy it online and pick them up. But every once in a while, they'll have that. Who else? Let's see. Is, I don't know if Robin's still here, but I'm going to write Robin's name. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. I don't know if you're still here, but hi. And my S's didn't start like that either. Like, I did a very different S. And some of you may be like, oh, I can't really read that. Well, that's fine because your S can be however you want your S to be. If you want yours more connected, and this is probably what I did in the beginning. Um, and sometimes I get wild and <laughs> maybe I need to bring it in sometimes. Okay, I'm going to do April. This is grid paper and it's nice to help you with lines that might make you feel more confident when you're learning. Jeannie. And if you, any of y'all have um, an iPad with an Apple Pencil, it is, ooh, Casey, that'll be fun to do. 
Um, we sometimes do iPad art too. Okay, I'm gonna do my S a little bit closer together. Is that better? I just have a feeling y'all are like, she needs to work on her S. <laughs> I think I've been thinking that lately. That's why I said that. Okay, Casey. Michelle, if you're still here. Hi, Michelle, I haven't seen you in forever. And then I really am gonna go after I get these names written. Ooh. Here's Miss Marty. I gotta check out Marty. She is a fun crafter and you know what? She travels. And so you get to see where she is next. They basically live in an RV for several months of the year. Marty and Betty. Hi, Betty, if you're watching. Is it I or why? It's I. Hi, Kim. And Sarah. I could do this all day, write names. I love writing names. Is that the right Sarah? Did I do it? Was it with an H? Yes. Okay. And then Kim. Oh, I did a Kim. Oh, it's a different Kim. Okay, we'll do two Kims then. Y'all, it's a therapy right here. If you have anxiety, like I do, oh, man. <laughs> I can't tell you how good it feels. Oh, I don't know why. It's so weird. But it works. Okay. And Melanie. I'm just going back up through my list. This poor little marker. I'm, I have a really heavy hand, so you don't really have to do it like I do, but... Julia, if you're still on here, Bradshaw, you need to come to one of the classes. You need to come. I still am holding your little spot. Krista's been in our club for a long time, since so the beginning. A lot of y'all have. Let's see this A I did different than I did earlier. I did a loop. I should use a different pen. <laughs> this might be trash, but that's the thing about these markers is that you don't have to feel bad throwing them away once you but I like the way they look I really do okay so now I'm gonna get a brush pen <gasps> hi Cheryl I didn't know you were home I think I missed seeing you well this does kind of feel like heaven after that <laughs> I forgot how nice these do feel these are this is a Tombow dual brush this is one of the markers you'll get in your kit. Ooh, I got a little wiggly there. And sometimes your hand's shaky and that's just normal. That's okay. 
It's not a big deal. The more you practice, the better you get, though. And Shauna, or Shanna. Sorry about the noise. Means it's working. <laughs> These have a dual brush, so this is a, a dual tip. This has a like a bullet tip on it. So it's just like a regular marker. And now I have this, y'all. This is the new Sharpie brush pen. Sharpie brush pen. Like these too. There's Kelly. I don't know if Kelly's still here, but ooh, I like the way this feels. They're all just so different. I have to have them all. But these are new, and I will say I love them. But I think one of my favorites, I'll show you next, I think it still wins. That's my favorite because I, I feel like you can control it so much better than most of these because that's a really short tip. See, this has a long tip, so see how thick you can make it and then how thin you can make it well this Pentel that is my fave 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 favorite looks like this it's a touch pen and then you can see how tiny that end is so this is as thick as I can make it and there's my thin but it's you can control it so much I know it's gonna be hard to see on this paper but this is well I have a green one that might be better Okay, I'm not looking to see if anybody has questions. Let me go back down and see. Oh, you're so sweet. Of course, Robin, you need to join. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. Hi, Paula. Thank you. No, it really is. And um, again, you know, if you have to drop, you drop. You have nothing to lose. Did I get everybody? I didn't get Rhonda. But we've had, most people don't drop because they love it. Because it's way more, I mean, honestly, it's more about the relationships. I mean, I, I believe you get way more than $29 worth of t teaching and, and all that, but the people are what's amazing. There's Rhonda. See how pretty that is and how short tip it is and it's just that way it is a lot easier to control because it's a short tip anybody else want me to do a name I can do a name there's Carrie got a little shaky there but that's all right this is practice Oh, that's a pretty name. Let me write yours, Carissa. Thank you. I appreciate you speaking up and saying that. That makes me feel special. Okay, so I'm going to do Carissa. And see how I stop? Like, I do a stroke and then I stop. I do a stroke and then I stop. That's one stroke and now I'm doing my S that's a stroke <laughs> and then my A that's another thing with lettering that's helpful now what if you think oh it's not thick enough for me I, you know it doesn't look that different because when you go up it's really thin and when you go down it's supposed to be a lot thicker well here you don't see as a huge variety so you just go down and you make a line and you fill that in if you want it thicker just on your down strokes though and then you can see a big difference like that. I do that all the time. It's kind of like photography, but I'm still using a brush pen. See, y'all can do this. Anybody can, you just have to be taught. Did I do Christina yet? I don't think so. Hi, Christina. Christina's in the tribe.
which is very inspirational. Always posting cute stuff. Again, I like to I like to do that thicker downstroke. So, all right, guys. Well, if you don't have any other names, did I do everybody else's name? If I didn't holler at me, um, then oh, thank you, Sandy. Yes, my birthday's tomorrow. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. Thanks for the birthday wish. All right, guys. We all have a wonderful, blessed Labor Day, and. Um, Anyway, I appreciate you staying around and listening and watching. And if you have questions, just let me know. Have a good one. Bye.